All right, now we want to look at variables and types. So there's two types of variables. There's going to be qualitative or categorical. What this does is this includes nominal or nominal scale level and ordinal scale level. So remember, nominal is when you have just categories. So those categories could be like red, blue, um, old, new, things like that. An ordinal level is one that has a sequential order typically. So you could say bad, good, better. That would be ordinal. Now quantitative or numerical is going to include interval and ratio. So interval is where things can increase or decrease. So for example, temperature, whereas ratio scale would be percentages. Now as an exercise to make sure that we understand which type of variables go where, we are going to organize the following into categorical or numerical data. So if we measure height and we measure it using feet, what that is, is that's going to be an interval scale, AKA that's going to be numerical since we're measuring it using numbers. So height in feet is going to be numerical. What if we just measure somebody and we say that they're either below five feet or above five feet tall? Okay. Now, even though this is using numbers, what this is actually going to go into is it's going to go into qualitative or categorical data. The reason is because we're not using an interval scale or a ratio scale. What we're doing is that we're putting people into bins. You're either under five feet tall or you're over five feet tall. So this, even though it's using numbers, is going to be categorical. Money measured in dollars. So money measured in dollars, since we can count it and it has an order, it's going to be an interval scale. Next, we have winners, and these winners are going to go from first place to 10th place. Now, this is going to be qualitative or categorical because it's using an ordinal scale. So just as well as I could say your first to 10th, I could also say your good, better, best, bestest, amazing, etc. So this would be categorical. Sometimes when we're looking at um, ordinal scale levels, especially when they use numbers like 1 through 10, it can be kind of hard to determine if it's a numerical or a categorical. One of the tricks I like to use is if I add them together, am I going to get an answer that makes sense? So for example, if I add first place to 10th place, does it make sense that I'm going to get somebody in 11th place? No, because maybe I don't even have 11 people competing. However, however if I add two feet together, like over here in the numerical side, I'm gonna get two feet or whatever. So that does make sense. Also, if I measure something in money, aka in dollars, of course, when I add them together, I'm going to get more dollars, which makes sense. Now, exam scores. If you get below 70%, we're going to say you fail. If you get above 70%, we're going to say you pass. Since I am using numbers to describe the criteria, this is going to be categorical since I'm putting people into two categories or bins. Exam scores, so scores out of 200 points, well, since those are represented by numbers and they can be put into an interval scale and also a ratio scale, so how did people do accordingly, that is going to be numerical. Exam scores A, B, C, D, and F, those are going to be categorical because I'm putting you into a category. So if I add an A and a B, well, I can't really divide those by anything because they're not numbers. Number of eggs in a carton, what would that be? That would be numerical. As well, if I had eggs and I weighed them in grams, that would also be numerical. Now, the reason that this is important and why it's going to come up in subsequent modules is because depending on what kind of data we have, we're going to be using different tools to analyze them. So for example, if we have categorical data, I'm going to display that to somebody either using a bar chart or a pie chart. If I have numerical data, I'm going to display that to somebody using a dot plot, a histogram, or a scatter plot. Also, what we're going to see in later modules is that we're going to have to use different statistical tests on them. So if you want to see if two categorical data are related, that's going to be a lot different than if you want to see if two numerical data are related.